welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing something that you've probably seen before and I am going to be doing a full face of using paint brushes now this is scaring me only because um, my eyes like are these little you know brushes going to like really upset my lid is the one thing I'm very scared of <sighs> I mean there's sponges in here like like a makeup sponge almost let's open these up and see what we have in here some stiff ass brushes This might work. Who knows? This I'm not putting anywhere near my face. Well, no. <gasps> this could be my eyeshadow brush. This just looks, oh, this is really soft actually. <gasps> okay. Okay. These bitches are really hard, so I'm not using those at all. These are a lot of brushes that came with in this thing. And most of them are soft. Most of them. Like these kind of ones are not soft. These are like ones that might hurt. Like you can just tell. These are actually. These are the ones that are like soft. No. These. Not so bad. These could be like eyeliner brushes. These are actually really soft. We might be able to make it work. They're just super skinny. That's the only thing. Do I have an eyebrow brush in here? This could be my little eyebrow brush. Yeah, I just have to cut it a little bit. Okay, now to do my eyebrows, this is a little brush that came in it. It's a little skinnier. And I'm going to use that for my eyebrows. But I'm just scared because it's not like a thin brush. It's like Not like a super thin brush, but it's very like... I don't know, like, I feel like the way it's going to do my eyebrows might not be the best, but we're going to work as much as we can with, <laughs> I was going to go like this, but it doesn't have that. Oh my god. Can I use, I can use a spoolie. Don't play me, I can use a spoolie. I can, I can. I'm not going to lie, it is taking me a little longer than usual, obviously than what a regular brush would do. I might have to clean this brush after so I can clean up my eyebrows with it because I don't see another brush like this down there around anywhere. I keep wanting to, you know, like fill in the spots and then go like this and be like that. I keep wanting to do that. But I hate draw, uh, putting this brush down, getting that one, then putting it back down. And like, ugh, it's annoying. But I'm not gonna lie, like, this brush didn't do my eyebrows bad. You know, like, it, like it's actually doing a really good job. Will I ever grab it again after this video hell no but you know this is only for the video it's not for like an everyday kind of thing like the brush isn't bad and believe it or not this whole pack that I got for brushes was five dollars six dollars I was six dollars for this many brushes so like you know if you want to do painting or whatever you can use these, you know, not bad. But for makeup, they're not so bad either. Well, we'll see. We'll see later on. So yeah, this is what we have for the eyebrows so far. I'm gonna go in with this brush, I think. Mm, is there another one? Or maybe this brush to clean up my eyebrows 
And to clean up my eyebrows, obviously I'm going with my Jeffree Star Concealer in the shade C10. I'm actually really worried. My head is shaking. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually terrified, yo. Like, it's going good so far. Like, this could really mess it up, or, you know. Like, I'm shaking. Okay. Okay, not so bad at all. <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of myself. Okay, you guys, so this is how the eyebrow looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow off the camera because it's it was really time consuming and I just wanna get this one done like faster than I did with this one. So you guys I will be right back to continue with this. I promise I'm still using this the freaking um the brushes like they did me justice, so I'm gonna use them. So I'll be right back. I'm actually really shocked at how well I was able to use these two brushes this to line them up and then this to clean it up it has a really like nice angle where i could like let me go like this and it worked really well so so far so good now the next thing i'm going to go ahead and moisturize and i'm going to be using my kylie skin face moisturizer i actually really like this i use it every night now just to test out the waters and see how much i like these products and stuff so i use this a lot now and it's really 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 um uh hydrating and now i'm going to go ahead and use the eye cream from kylie skin cosmetics as well or kylie skin i don't know if it's cosmetics anymore but this um I feel like it tugs on my skin a little bit. In the beginning, I liked it, and then I really felt like it was tugging on my skin. So now I'll just take the product, and I'll put it in, and then I'll dub it in with my finger. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation and concealer on my eye, right from the tube. And then I'm going to blend it out with a brush. My neighbor's doing a lot of freaking noise right now. If you can hear that, I apologize. Now to go in, let's see how this works. not so bad but with a regular beauty blender this would have been done by now like I swear it literally sounds like someone's outside I almost want to go inside and check hold on give me a second okay guys it was nothing now I'm just gonna go in with my finger and kind of blend it out more is that cheating? I don't think so. I don't think it's necessarily cheating if I go in with my fingers. Just to really kind of like 
make sure nothing looks weird up in there. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my uh, powder and I'm going to set it with a brush. Like right here, this one. This is just says China on it. It's a really thin brush. Okay. Just to put the powder on the eye, it's not bad actually. It's just a small brush, so not much can be covered with this. I have to go in a couple of times to get, you know, good powder up in there. Now, to start my eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I want to mimic a look that she did um, earlier that I really loved. We don't have the same eye shape, so it's not going to look the same on me. That looks like on her, but she's literally so fucking stunning that I really like the look that she did. It was a simple look, but she looks stunning. And if you saw her doing the swatches from her lip, uh, lipsticks on her, uh, what is it, Instagram, Snapchat kind of thing, she swatched all of them and the makeup that she was wearing in that, she looked stunning. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, this is going to be actually really challenging because of how small these brushes are. Okay. If I don't pull this look off, I'm sorry, Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm sorry. So the first color we're going to use is this one right here. Just diving this little brush in there. And I packed it. Let's see how this looks. This is not gonna work. I just noticed this is not gonna fucking work. There's no way in hell this is gonna work. I can barely pick up any product on this little brush. I'm actually gonna hit him with this brush. I know it's huge, but let's just see if this works. Do you guys see any color? Because I surely don't see anything. I'm just going to work with this brush because this is the best bet that I have right now. You can see a little color, right? Yeah, this is not going to look at all like Jacqueline's look. So, don't expect much from me right now. I'm terrified, but I'm going to go in with the brown in the palette and see what happens. Okay, not so bad. Just have to be very careful with that brown. So I'm going to take this smaller brush and go in with the darker brown. See if this brush can keep it where I just want it to be right now. It's in this little area. It's really challenging because, again, these are not, you know makeup brushes obviously so to pack on color it takes a while but it's not bad like I could do it it's just a little time consuming you know so so far so good so this is sort of the look that Jacqueline had going on I'm just going back and forth with different brushes and kind of just you know, blending everything together as much as I can, even if it's a little brush. Because it's a little brush, it's actually a little bit more helpful to stay in one spot. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and also do eyeliner with one of these brushes. It's going to be easy because there's several thin brushes in here that I could use. 
but I'm still gonna go ahead and try to fix a little bit more of this look. Make it a little bit more browny, more so than, you know, black, because Jacqueline was a little bit more browny than black, and I like that. So I'm gonna try and fix it a little bit more. My eyeliner, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight with this brush and get some product off of that to start. And I'm not going to do a full-on wing. I'm just going to do like the look that Jacqueline had going on. And she did like a thick wing like this. Not wing. What am I saying? She did like really thick over her eyes like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this brush is actually really, really good for that. Why am I so shocked right now with myself? I'm actually really shocked that this is going not terrible. Oh my goodness. So this is what the look looks like so far. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off the camera. And I am going to apply some lashes. And I'll be right back you guys to finish the face. Okay, it's dripping, is dripping. Wow, it's more so taking off my foundation is what I feel like. Cause I apply it a lot and it doesn't feel like a lot but the more that I dab it is actually not bad dragging it don't do that <laughs> but dabbing it is actually not horrible So, this little sponge is not the worst, but it feels weird. So, me trying to buff this in to my skin, you know, it's working. I'm not going to lie, it's working because look at my skin. It's a little streaky, but patting it in is going to really help, I feel. And I can get into the areas where I usually can with the beauty blender, which is so interesting to me. Like I can get like around the edges of my eyebrows. This is taking me so long that like with a normal beauty blender, like one, two, three, like I can do it. But with this, it's taking me a lot longer just because I'm trying to really blend it out. Yeah, like. It looks a little streaky, but we can work with it. I really want this to come out good because last challenges that I've ever done, this has not been good. I feel like I look cakey as hell. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the same little thing and apply concealer. Where's my concealer? I feel like my face is like super freaking cakey right now and I'm not liking that at all. directly with this and then I'm gonna use a sponge 
I'm gonna do one side first because I find myself. Ooh, 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 no, 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 no. My hair got in it. Oh, it's it. I didn't put gel, so that's why I'm suffering the consequences now of that hair of mine. Come on. Sorry, you guys. I might have. I might have a little bit of color in my <laughs> hair, so. I want a little weird. Oh my god. Come on. I'm really annoyed right now, actually. Something that I realized is I should have done concealer after this. The fact that I've been doing this for a while doesn't look horrible. But um trying to blend this out has been has been a bitch, so crazy. I know. Now I'm gonna hang with the other side. My neck is friggin' hurting because I'm annoyed. <laughs> God. Okay, so that much product. Oh. This is gonna be perfect for contouring the nose for sure. I might have found my perfect contouring brush, y'all. Wow, oh my God. My nose looks snatched. <gasps> Oh my god, I found the perfect contouring product now. Oh my god. Okay, okay, Lizzie. I see you, girl. I see you. Okay. I'm getting way too excited over this shit. Oh my god. Now with this brush that I use my eyeshadow with, I'm going to go ahead and use it for powder underneath my eyes. around the face you could also use this for highlight now that I realized it and mm, I'm not so sure blush let me try it with a different brush Another brush for blush. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this for highlight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush for blush. Actually, not applying it so bad. Okay, so this brush has been literally coming through for me. So I'm gonna use it for highlighter. Wow. This brush really came through today. This was my eyeshadow brush. This was my blush brush. This was my putting powder on my face brush this was my highlighting brush like this brush came through today honey 
and I absolutely love it. So, wow. I'm actually feeling so bomb, and I think I'm gonna keep this brush for a highlight now because. <laughs> wow. I'm going to finish off with my under eyes. And I'm just going to take a subtle, like, brown color. You know, like a nude brown almost. And finish off the eyes. And I'll put mascara on. And... I'll put a lip on. Okay. That hurt a little bit. Ooh. This is a shade. Flower Crown. I got it at Ulta. It, they had it. Obviously, they have Morphe there, so I got it. I snatched it. Me and my friend Nancy have the same one. So, yeah, that's why we best friends, because we have the same things, and we bond over the same stuff, and we love Ariana Grande. You know what? When I, <laughs> I knew she was going to be my best friend because she gave me the aux cord, and she let me put Ariana Grande knowing that she likes her too so that's why i love nancy nancy is literally the kindest most heart she she has so much heart to give she's so sweet she's so kind and i was truly blessed blessed y'all to have a friend like her so she watches all my videos so hey girl Love you, Nancy. Love you the most. Alright, you guys. So, this was the end of this video. The way everything turned out was amazing. Absolutely amazing. These brushes came through for me for this video. So, yeah. Um, I want to thank every single one of you for subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And who knows what I'm going to do next because I am running out of ideas now. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.